this is the boy who wants to be a pirate. How do you fare on your quests? I'm the deadliest scallywag what ever swung a sword. Well, defeated the swordmaster, did you? Hey, you're a strong fella. You may keep the stylish t-shirt. We have enough. I'm the sneakiest footpad in these aisles. Ah, the idol of many hands. You're a brave lad. <laughs> and thank you for stealing it for us. Tell me again about the lost treasure. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island and bring it back here. And don't forget, X marks the spot! <laughs> I'll just be running along now. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. Well, this shouldn't take too long. Hours pass. Hey, I think I hit something. Oh boy. It's a t-shirt. Not my size, but a nice one nonetheless. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back now. More hours pass.
What was that? I'm so confused. Hey! What are you doing just standing around? The governor's been kidnapped! What? By whom? LeChuck's got her on that ship that just sailed off. Well, I'm afraid we've seen the last of her. Where did they go? LeChuck's taken the governor back to his hideout on Monkey Island. I'm afraid that no pirate on this island is brave enough to follow him there. But hey, good luck. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, they left this note. You can have it, but I don't think you'll like what it says. governor's mansion <laughs> the governor is gone lechuck and his spectral crew came and got her <laughs> they put her in the ghost ship and spirited her away she was so good to me always conveniently losing those health board reports <laughs> for a small consideration of course <laughs> what'll become of my business <laughs> oh woe is me <laughs> What can I do to save her? You must get a ship and go after her. The ghost pirate's lair is on Monkey Island. Everybody knows that. Don't ask me how. All you need to do is find a way there. Will you join me? Uh, alas, I cannot go to sea. An old war injury. I'm sure you understand. Right. I'm off. Good luck. Be sure to wear your mittens. And your galoshes. And don't forget to write. Bye now. <laughs> Stuff is eating right through the mug. I think I have enough already. Ha <laughs> 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 
Great! A drink! I'm real thirsty. Yikes! Wow! And to think I used to drink that stuff. I'm free! Oh yeah, thanks. My name's Otis, by the way. If there's anything I can ever do for you. Well, actually, there is something. I'm looking for brave people to join my crew and sail off to Monkey Island with me to rescue the governor. She's been abducted by the fearsome pirate LeChuck and is being held against her will somewhere in his secret hideout. I see. Well, Jess, hmm. LeChuck, you say? Well, Jess, yes, of course. We must sail to Monkey Island and... <gasps> hey, look behind you, I three had a monkey. I can't believe I fell for that. Pretty good trick, though. Meanwhile, having just returned from Melee, LeChuck and his crew find their old hiding place in the underground rivers of Monkey Island and drop anchor. Captain, sir. I just stopped by to congratulate you on your kidnapping mission. Captain? Captain, are you all right? Never felt better. And how fares our prisoner? Ah, yes, the uh, prisoner. <laughs> we had a little. Trouble? Trouble! No, 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 nothing to worry about, sir. Everything's under control. She escaped a few times, but we've got her locked up in the brig. No one's getting in or out of there. For your sake, I hope not. 
with years of planning almost destroyed by my death. I'm not taking any chances now. You took care of Mr. Threepwood then? Guybrush Threepwood will not be a problem. At this very moment, he's 20 feet underwater. Probably bloated up like a fattened pig. His eyes being eaten out by crabs. Fish pecking at his fingers. Kinda makes you wish you were there to watch. Ah, yes sir. Ugh. Sure does it that. Now, go check on the route. Make sure it's locked up tight. Aye, aye, Captain. There's no answer. You've already got the t-shirt. What do you want now? The governor's been kidnapped! What? That's ridiculous. Oh, no. This looks bad. Very bad. I'm getting a ship and a crew together to go rescue her. Hmm... I have a feeling I'm going to regret this, but count me in. I'll meet you at the dock. Hey! I don't like visitors. Who are you? The governor's been kidnapped! What? 
That's preposterous. Oh, really? Take a look at this note they left. Oh, no. This is horrible. What are we going to do? We could get a crew together and sail off after them. What an idea. Now, if we only had a captain. Well, what about me? Ha! You! Ha! 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 That's a good one. Hey, I'm serious. Really? Really? Okay, let's see you prove it. Walk this way. There's something in here that I want to show you. Something horrible. Something so horrible that I stay awake at night just thinking about it. But I don't mean to scare you. I'm sure a big brave guy like yourself will have no problem facing this monster. After all, it's much smaller than the beast that bit off my hands so many years ago! Arr, 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 arr. Let's just hope you're quicker than I was. Oh, I just remembered something. I never did get around to feeding him this week. Ha 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 ha! Silly me! I'll let you open this last door yourself. Just let me get out of your way. Wait. Ha ha ha! Getting cold feet? No, I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. You're supposed to open that little door. And if you're brave enough, touch the beast inside. Oh, is that all? Okay, go ahead. If you've got the guts. I don't believe it. You are a brave man after all. You faced the beast I've feared all these years. You had the guts to do what I never could. I feel like such a coward. I'm not good enough to be on your crew. I'm not even good enough to swab your de 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 eggs. Oh, come on, Mr. Uh, Meat Hook. Mr. Meat Hook? You're a big, strong, good looking guy with a great tattoo. I can make a talk. Wanna see? Ha! Uh, maybe later. Anyway, you can swab my decks anytime. <laughs> really? Sure. I can still be on your crew. Just pack your stuff and meet me at the dock. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I won't let you down. Hey, maybe I'll get a chance to show you my whole tattoo routine when we're at sea. Wow, this is sounding better and better all the time. Wow, it works both ways. That's some chicken.
Cody. I'm Stan of Stan's previously owned vessels, and I'd stand on my head to make you a deal. What sort of craft are you looking for? Big, fast, slow. You want it? I got it. And if I don't got it, I'll get it. I want to make you a deal that you're happy with. Because if you're not happy, I'm not happy. But I know you're going to leave here happy today. How do I know? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So tell me, what are you interested in looking at today? I don't really have that much to spend. Have no fear. Every ship I sell is a bargain. But if you're looking for a real steal, I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. This here is the famous Sea Monkey, the only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island and come back with anyone aboard left alive. Or should I say, anything? You see, the previous owners of this ship were two adventurous pirates. They set off, like many before, to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Their fate? A mystery. Almost as mysterious as how this ship returned to Melee Island without a single human aboard. Some claim it was sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? There aren't any chimps in the Caribbean. Oh, shut up. It makes a good story. Anyway, this baby's mine now. That is, until someone makes me an offer. What kind of price range were you thinking of? Actually, I was hoping to get one on credit. Sorry, kid. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. That's just old Stan's philosophy. If you've got a job, the storekeeper in town might extend you some credit. Then we'd have something to talk about. Unless, of course, you've already got some other means of financing. Oh, no more than 174 pieces of eight. Look, this is a very reasonably priced ship, but not that reasonable. I doubt you're carrying enough cash on you for this transaction. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Okay, but I got five other guys coming back to look at this baby today. Don't count on it being here if you change your mind. So, what else can I show you? Actually, I'd like to go think about it some more. Sure, sure, think it over. I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. Bye now. I forgot to give you my card. And here's something else to remember me by. A compass? An extra strong magnetic compass. With your picture on it. That's right. It always points directly back here. So if you're looking for a good deal, you know where to go. I'll be right here when you come back. But I can't guarantee that any of these ships will. Right. They're moving fast today. Yes, sirree. Can't hardly keep anything in stock. He'll be back.
Ahoy there, fancy pants. What do you want? I'm interested in procuring a note of credit. You are, are ya? You got a job? Yes, of course I do. All right. I'll get one of my notes and we'll fill it out. Let's see here. What did you say your occupation was? I'm an acrobat with a traveling circus. You're one of them fettuccine brothers? Where's your silly accent? And where are your silly slippers? Come back when you got a job in a credible business. What else do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Okay, but don't put your lips on anything. What do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Look, I told you she doesn't want to see you. Maybe if you asked her again? Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there again. Be right back. And don't touch anything! There's nothing in here but this note. Howdy! Great to see you again. I knew you'd come back. Everybody does. You know why they come back? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So, what else can I show you? Uh, 
Uh, could I see the cheap one again? I knew it. I knew it. Just can't get her out of your mind, can you? Walk this way. Hard to stay away from a good mystery, isn't it? Hmm? Let's talk about money. Your money. I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? Hey, of course. Your credit's always good at stands. It doesn't matter if you've had credit problems in the past. Divorce, chronic gambling mishaps. I mean, who am I to judge, right? If the storekeeper trusts you enough to give you a letter of credit, then you must be an honest man with a steady income, right? Uh, right. Let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? I know you want it. You know you want it. And I know that you know that I want to sell it, so... I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? I'd like to pay 2,000 pieces of eight. Sure. I guess we can start out at the bottom. I got all day. I'm going to be getting a whole new shipment next week. So you got me over a barrel. I've got to sell this baby, even if it means losing my shirt. Let's talk extras. Extras? You want to talk extras? Great! This baby's loaded with extras. For instance, did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? Enough about extras already. Okay, where were we? I'd like to make you an offer. Great! How much? How does 3,000 pieces of eight sound? That's a little bit more like it, but not much. I know you can try harder than that. Just tell me, what would it take to get you to sail this ship away today? I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? Okay, okay, 4,000 pieces of eight. That's a little bit more like it, but not much. I know you can try harder than that. You realize, don't you, that they just don't make them like this anymore? I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? All right, 5,000, but that's my final offer. That's a little bit more like it but not much. I know you can try harder than that. Buddy, you can tell me the truth. It's the little woman, isn't it? You're afraid of what she'll say when you come home with a new ship. Don't be such a wimp. Stand up to her. She'll respect you for it. And when she sees this ship, she'll love you for it. Trust me. Let's talk extras. Did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but don't blame me if you run into an iceberg or something. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Sure, throw safety to the wind. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion rudder? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Well, I guess it'll float without it. Barely. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the velour sail covers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Hey, travel light. I can understand that, sure. 
Of course, mutiny is an ugly word. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the taco meter? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Wow, does your wife know you're such a cheapskate? But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the elevator made with wood from burgundy wine casks? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Yeah, I guess that is kind of decadent, isn't it? But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about this simulated wood siding? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but I'm telling you, barnacles hate simulated wood. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but don't blame me if you run into an iceberg or something. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? Enough about extras already. Okay, where were we? Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sail this puppy away today for just 5,800 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? 5,000. And that's my final, final offer. 5,000 pieces of eight? Okay, okay. It's killing me, but okay. And I thought I was gonna give my children Christmas presents this year. Just take it out of here. I'm glad to get rid of it. Oh yeah, do you have that note from the storekeeper on you? Thanks. I've got to run these numbers by my boss. He'll think I'm nuts, but I'll talk him into it. You meet me at the dock with your crew. I'll bring the ship and the papers. I just want to say that I really feel like we got to know each other today. I mean, I really felt some bonding here. And I don't just say that to everybody. It's been great doing business with you. Really? Sucker. See you at the dock and don't forget your crew. All three of them. It's a good thing you showed up. Ten people have offered to buy this baby off me while I've been standing here waiting for you. But I said, no way. I know a guy who's in love with this ship, and it would break his heart to lose it. Am I right? Of course I am. I mean, just look at her. Sleek, aerodynamic, a buoyant barnacle-covered beauty. I think we're having a real moment here. I've changed my mind. I can't give her up. You can have your money back. How could I sell something so dear? Then again, a deal's a deal, right? Right. <laughs> Good luck, yeah. I'm out of here. Whoops, I almost forgot to give you this free seafaring literature. My gift to you. Just remember where you got it. Stands! Maybe I should have gotten that extended warranty after all. Hey, long time no see. Have you come to be on my crew? Hey, I could never pass up a chance to make some easy money. Uh, money? Yeah, we are getting paid for this, right? 
Glad you could make it, Carla. Look, don't start with me, okay? So what's that waterlogged wreck doing out there? How are we gonna get our ship in here with that pile of scrap in the way? Where's the cabin boy? I need him to go back to my place and pick up my bags. What's going on here? Where's our ship? Where's our crew? This isn't gonna be as easy as I thought.